Meet my son, Max. I'm Max, and I'm four years old. I kayak down the Upper River on River Trek. We're doing two days of the five-day River Trek paddle. Max is my navigator. He's using Apalachicola Blue Way maps that I've added to and laminated. We started at a sniffing He's getting a full river experience. I am helping Dad paddle. Here I am running around on a sandbar. Our dinner in Wee Wahichko is from the river. What did we have for dinner that one night? Gator tail. We had some real river food on uh, Thursday night. We had fried brim and shell cracker along with uh, fried gator and some pulled pork uh, to go with it. Jim caught the fish, and our friends at Off the Map Expeditions and Wee Wahichko cooked it. Well, the brim and the uh, gator came from Imonia Lake in Calhoun County. Imonia Lake is an oxbow of the Apalachicola where Jim has fished and hunted since he was Max's age. I'd love for Max to have that kind of lifelong bond to our outdoor spaces, and especially this river. When I went on River Trek in 2012, Max helped me pack my kayak, and he was there when it ended. I expected it would be a life-changing trip for me. What I didn't expect was that Max would become so taken with the Apalachicola. River Trek is a fundraiser for the Apalachicola Riverkeeper and a way to raise awareness of issues facing the river and bay. In 2012, those issues were considerable. We're on track now to be the lowest year ever. The Army Corps of Engineers controls the flow of water in this river. Riverkeepers fighting for more. We have an opportunity on an, at least two fronts that could improve things dramatically. The Corps of Engineers environmental impact statement came out. It does not help us, uh, but it is the opportunity that we have to try to change that plan. It's just a draft now. The second thing, even more hopeful, is legislation that Representative Gwen Graham has filed that will actually require the Corps to consider our needs. Max has his whole life to learn the politics of this river. For now, he'll just get to know it. I like sandbars and sand mountain. Those are both two of my favorite parts. There are a ton of sandbars on the Apalachicola. This is great for kayaking with kids, as there are plenty of stopping points and camping possibilities. But high, expansive sandbars aren't a natural feature. The history of how those bars got there goes back 40 years when the Corps of Engineers was dredging the river. So they started putting the dredge material that they took out of the channel and put it on the point bars along the river. And so these created these extensive bars that stick way out into the river, which creates a problem on the opposite side of the river because it increases the erosion of those banks over there. The largest sand spoil created by the Army Corps is Sand Mountain. Sand Mountain's my favorite. Max is almost to the top before I get my tripod set up. Here, why don't you wait there for me, okay? For adults, it's a little bit of a workout to climb. Wow. Was it hard to climb up? No. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> I'm taking a video? No. Here, one more time. Sit out and Good job! <laughs> so, Max, why did you go back down to, from the same mountain? To get the snacks. And he's back up again. What kind of trees are those? Two below. That's right. At Owl Creek, the paddlers meet up with the river riders. For the first time, a cycling expedition runs parallel to the kayakers. The bike trek takes two days. The first day, they travel from Chattahoochee to Owl Creek. Very good.
Good job, Max. Everybody say Max. Max. Max, I forgot to get energy from you this morning. I'm never going to make it. That's the end of Max's River Trek. Today, I'm going with the River Riders. So uh, one of the things we're trying to do is raise more awareness about Riverkeeper and the river and the, the ability to get more people out um, experiencing the basin, experiencing the river. A lot of folks that don't kayak, getting out there on a bike gives them an opportunity to you know, see, something, see something different. Today, they do some forest riding. is besides just being a, a ton of fun the 15 16 people that came down the river unless you've actually seen it and been on it the way they have it's really hard to appreciate just what a uh, important and significant ecosystem it is i'm lucky to have experienced it again through the eyes of my favorite adventure buddy for wfsu i'm rob and i'm max diaz de villegas <laughs> diaz de villegas Thank you.